Hey there, this is Bennett, and I'm on the phone with Gianluca Rizzo. Am I pronouncing it correctly? Yeah. And let's hear. Say something. I'm tr I'm trying to get you on the air here. So let's see here. <laughs> now say something, please. Hello, Bennett. Nice to be on your program at last. There we go. Okay. All right. So I um, just I just played. Uh, I just played the track that you sent me last week, La Chita uh, di Alconda. Alconda. What does that mean? La Chita di Alconda is... Um, Chitty, Alconda. It's a, it's a song in the, the city of Alconda. Really? It's actually, it's a, yeah, it's a city. It's, um, it comes from this project, which uh, I wrote uh, 10 years ago or more. And uh, which actually I had written in 1994, the whole thing. The project right. is called Not Puppets. And I uh, had written this thing in, uh, yeah, about 1994. And uh, in 1995, I got together with a friend of mine, Vincenzo. Vincenzo Corvello, yes. Yeah, Vincenzo Corvello appeared in Mama Space. And we, you know, he's actually on the, um, on the cover of the demo city. And uh, he... He wrote the lyrics of the song. So what we did in the project was we writing a concept album at the way of Pink, Pink Floyd way. Uh -huh, uh -huh. you know. yeah. It is one of, one of the songs, one of the cities. Um, it's actually an imaginary journey, which we, we imagine to do, obviously. Uh, actually, we were written on a space that in a, it was an afternoon in August. And we were drinking a bottle of Martini Bianco. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, we were looking at the lyrics I had written, and uh, my friend all of a sudden came, came with this idea. There is an Italian poem called La Divina Commedia, uh -huh. which is um, an imaginary journey as well, in which Dante does within hell, purgatory, and heaven. And uh, he's got Virgilio, who was uh, an old friend of his, and that guides him for this imaginary journey. And so we, we, we had the same idea, be having like Sid Barrett be guiding us in, you know, <laughs> in an imaginary journey, which that's why the name of the city is. It's not just the one, the city of Golconda is, is a song which is not on my space yet. Uh huh. And uh, it's an, but even though the song from a space, but it, uh, but it but it echoes uh, along from your life. It's not just something new. It's something that you've had in your mind for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, Jean Luca is in London. Are you are you originally from Sicily? I'm from Sicily. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh, no, I'm in London at the moment. Yeah, I've been living in London in UK for nearly eighty years now. Uh huh. I came to learn the language, and, uh, you know, I got stuck here in a sense. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you seem to, to be back. doing fairly well with the language. Your, your accent's pretty thick, but uh, I can understand you very well. You have family there in London with you. Yes, I do have family. I've got a sister. Uh -huh. Well, the reason why I came here is because I, when I came here, Ben, um, I could not speak a word of English. Oh, wow. Um, I didn't know English at all, so as a... My sister actually, in a sense, convinced me to come and learn a bit of the language because she said, if you want to change a job in Italy, and if you know a, a foreign language, especially English, which is, is spoken everywhere in the world. Pretty much, yeah. Business. So that's why I came. Well, so you totally immersed yourself in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you find that frightening? Well, yes, I did. Uh, <laughs> when, I, when I first came here... I mean, I mean come you on. You, you started as a musician. You you studied music back in Italy, right? Yeah. Yeah. I and studied, but no world completed any music courses. I, I started with learning saxophone, tenor saxophone. In fact, I played tenor saxophone for five, five years, or six years, something like this. Uh-huh. And I was taking private lessons for it. Um then I quit. When my dad died, I quit. And I didn't carry on. Okay. You know. I understand. Which was a shame, actually, because my teacher at school, I knew more than my teacher. 
at the school because we were studying music as a theory, no theory of meaning music as we play notes and playing instruments. We were studying music just as a music style, like rock, classical, mm-hmm. jazz, and things like this. So mm-hmm. when we, when, whenever we were talking about music and play, as a playing an instrument, she didn't know any, any, anything about it. She couldn't play any instrument. So when I finished school, she said to me, you better carry on in, you know, with the music because you got good ear, you're a you talented person. <laughs> I never follow her advice. <laughs> it sure is a shame. <laughs> then my dad, that, my dad was trying to convince me, and uh, but then he died, and uh, you know, with his death, uh, I even decided to quit music. So when I was nearly 15, no, nearly 16, when I when I quit, and uh, well, fortunately, the quitting didn't stick, did it? No. In fact, for these years, three years later, when I was starting to feel very good again, uh-huh. you know, it was a really huge blow to me. The death of my father was really changed my life, and um, it wasn't until three days, three years later, that I started to play music. And it was when I actually wrote Mad Puppet, it was 1994, because my dad died in 90, 1990, and uh, starting, you know, three, four years later, I start playing guitar, you know. I was actually took some guitar lesson from the, my friend Vincenzo because uh-huh. he was taking guitar lesson at the time, and um, that was the, you know he wasn't a good guitarist. He was learning. I was picking up from him what he was learning, <laughs> you know. As, uh, then I always thought to myself, I and mean, I never never had a, t- a teacher for as far as guitar concerned. What I did, I do. I learned by myself by listening to music and trying to, you know. Learn a song. Perhaps I listen to a song and try to get a chord. This is what I always used to do, <laughs> you know. Well, let's let's share with uh, our audience here the song uh, "Illusione" in the uh, uh, in the English version that comes from the MySpace page. Um, yes. If people want to listen to Gianluca, uh, you can find him on MySpace under the name Pupazzo Pazzo. Pupazzo Pazzo, yes. Yeah. Yes, and uh, that's just for. The people who wouldn't know how to spell it, it's P-U-P-A-Z-Z-O, first word, second word, P-A-Z-Z-O, Pupazzo Pazzo. Which is the relative of Mad Puppet in English. Mad Puppet. <laughs> well, here's, here's, uh, illu- here's an illusion from the Mad Puppet. Yeah, the person in contest, yeah, is, uh, will, you know, what, like the song said, that there's some, I, I, I was imagining to see someone who has been victim of his memory. This is... It's, it's a lyrics dedicated to Barrett. <laughs> well, <laughs> the uh, there's a there's a photo. One of the photos on the MySpace page uh, shows a Sid Barrett poster and a Pink Floyd poster behind uh, yeah, Jean-Luca. The, and that was me with long hair, then. <laughs> and I do believe that, and that's when you had long hair. And I do believe that uh, most people who know me know what a mad Sid Barrett fan I am too. So here's the song Illusion. Yeah. <laughs> I did it wrong, wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> Here it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is this has kind of a slow beginning, but here it comes. Yeah, it's good. I like this. You know, this something uh, you know right from the you know the actually being being for this kind of slow intro and then developing the the song. Which is really quite good. And it's 
Jesus' voice was soft when he came to me to say, Follow my death to the cross, you never be before. What is life? And you will learn the suffering, and slowly you begin to hate. You will adapt in your life, you You shouldn't be afraid of anything. Can you please close your eyes and put it down? I will take it at the beginning of your life. Mad Puppet here on Kill Radio.